The flying environment is changing. Increasing air traffic with subsequent increasing demands on airspace and route structures have led to a need for changes in traditional aircraft navigation, monitoring, and control systems. These changes are designed to safely accommodate higher air traffic volumes. By reducing en route airplane separation and at the same time, provide access to runways and airfields previously unusable due to terrain or infrastructure limitations. Recall that the 737's FMC uses GPS, IRS, and radio position data to continually calculate its own present position. The navigation monitoring and control changes rely on the airplane's FMC's ability to continually calculate its own present position within a specified precision. This precision is expressed as a distance from the airplane's actual position. It is called Required Navigation Performance, or RNP. ICAO defines RNP as a statement of the navigation performance accuracy necessary for operation within a defined airspace. This navigation performance is quantified with two values, a distance in nautical miles and a probability level. The probability level reflects a percentage of the flight time the airplane's calculated present position must lie within the RNP distance from its actual position. This ensures that airplanes with adequate navigation accuracy remain within a defined pathway or containment boundary. This pathway provides safe separation from terrain, other airplanes, and adjacent airspace. The precision of the airplane's onboard navigation systems make this possible. The biggest advantage of the RNP concept is that the navigation accuracy is based on the airplane's system capabilities rather than on specific ground-based navigation aids. RNP designated airspace requires an airplane's navigation system to be able to calculate its present position within a specified radius RNP distance from the airplane's actual position at least 95% of the time it is flying in that airspace. For example, if the RNP for a particular airspace is four nautical miles, the FMC calculated present position must be within four miles of the airplane's actual position at least 95% of the time it is in that airspace. The required navigation performance, RNP, will vary depending on the airspace. It may be 10 nautical miles over some oceanic routes, or as low as 0.1 nautical miles for near Category 1 approaches. RNP was further defined to address potential rare excursions from the desired flight path, which were not specified under the ICAO definition of RNP. The new RNP standard is called RNP RNAV. It specifies the addition of a containment area, defined in the lateral dimension as twice the RNP value and centered on the airplane's defined flight path instead of the airspace desired path.
RNPRNAV specifies the airplane's navigation system must be able to ensure its present position coordinates are within twice the RNP of the airplane's actual present position. 99.999% of the flight time, the airplane is in that airspace. Whatever the airplane's FMC indicated present position is, the actual present position must be within the RNP distance of that FMC position at least 95% of the time. And it must be within the containment area virtually all of the time. This does not guarantee the airplane is on any defined flight path. It is only a statement of required navigational accuracy. RNP is used in conjunction with the flight path defined in the FMC. When the airplane is on the FMC defined course centerline and within RNP limits, then you know the FMC's calculated present position will be within the RNP limit distance from the actual course centerline at least 95% of the time and it will be within twice the RNP distance from the course center line virtually all of the time. RNP RNAV can be used to reduce route separation and improve obstacle clearance limits beyond the capability of the original ICAO RNP concept. You can determine the RNP for a given airspace by referencing the FMC applicable route charts or terminal area procedures. Remember that RNP is a measure of how good your navigation system must be. In order for RNP to be useful, you must also know how good your navigation system actually is you must know your actual navigation performance, or ANP. ANP is a measure of the airplane's navigation system error. It is the FMC's estimate of the current airplane present position uncertainty. For example, an AMP of 0 0.5 means FMC's calculated present position is within 0 0.5 nautical miles of its actual present position at least 95% of the time. In this example, the ADI indicates the airplane is on the center line of its FMC defined route, which means the FMC has placed its current position on the route center line. If the ANP is 0 0.5, the actual airplane position will be no further than 0 0.5 nautical miles from the actual coordinates of the route at least 95% of the time the airplane is in that airspace. The FMC primarily uses GPS to update its present position, but it is capable of using several sources. The more accurate the source, the smaller the ANP value. This means the FMC's position estimate will be closer to its actual position. GPS updating is most accurate, and while it is active, localizing updating is inhibited. Loss of GPS updating will force the FMC to update its position using the navigation radios, which are not as accurate. If radio updating is lost, the FMC will use IRS updating. With each system loss, ANP will gradually increase, meaning the accuracy of the FMC's present position estimate will decrease. If the ANP number becomes too large, the airplane may not be able to navigate within RNP constraints. When ANP exceeds RNP, the flight crew will be alerted. The message, Unable Required Navigation Performance RNP, will be enunciated on the map display.
You can see it is important for you to know what your RNP and ANP are at any given time. How you find this information will be discussed in another section of this lesson. Several pages in the FMC give you both RNP and ANP. Push the legs key. The legs page shows RNP ANP information next to line select key 6 left. Now let's look at RNP ANP on position page 3, the pause shift page. Push the initialization reference key. Show the index page. Push line select key 2 left to show position page 1 the Position Initialization page. Push Previous Page to show page 3. Pause Shift Page 3 shows RNP ANP information next to Line Select Key 4 left. You can also see RNP ANP on Progress Page 4 of 4. Push the Progress key to display the Progress page. Push Previous Page to show Page 4. Progress Page 4 displays lateral RNP ANP information and vertical RNP ANP. Knowing your RNP and ANP are important but these numbers alone do not tell you if you are actually on course. Remember, RNP tells you how accurate your onboard navigation system must be. And ANP measures how accurate your navigation system actually is. Let's look at how you can use this information. To determine where the airplane is relative to its programmed flight path, the flight crew has several sources of information available to them. Progress page 4 shows cross-track error. This is an indication of how far the airplane is left or right from the designated LNAV course. On the Navigation Display, or ND, the Lateral Path Deviation Annunciation displays below the airplane symbol when an active LNAV path is defined. The letters L and R signify deviation to the left or right of course. The airplane's current lateral RNP and ANP values are displayed digitally below the lateral path deviation annunciation. To graphically show the airplane's ANP relative to the RNP, new features have been added to the primary flight display, or PFD. The LNAV deviation scale appears directly below the ADI. It presents current lateral RNP ANP information. The VNAV deviation scale displays vertically along the right side of the ADI. This scale presents current vertical RNP ANP information. Both scales display whenever LNAV or any VNAV mode is engaged. The VNAV deviation scale does not display vertical ANP bars or the VNAV path pointer until the FMC enters a descent mode. When heading select is engaged, the scales remain displayed as long as the airplane remains within either one nautical mile from the LNAV course or within twice the current lateral RNP value from the LNAV course, whichever is the greater distance. In this example, with the lateral RNP equal to 2 nautical miles, as long as the airplane stays within 4 nautical miles from the LNAV course, 
the LNAV and VNAV deviation scales will remain enunciated. When a deviation scale is present, a scale ID enunciation displays above the upper left corner of the ADI. This enunciation indicates the source of the displayed deviation for each scale. In this example, the scale ID enunciation LNAV-VNAV indicates LNAV is the source of the lateral deviation display and VNAV is the source of the vertical deviation display. Many combinations of enunciations are possible depending on the source of the displayed deviation for the specific deviation scale. Now let's take a closer look at the LNAV deviation display. The LNAV deviation scale is similar in function to the ILS localizer indication on an ILS approach, but the appearance has been altered to avoid confusion with the ILS indications. Anytime LNAV or VNAV is engaged and an approach mode is not engaged, the LNAV and VNAV deviation scales display. The LNAV deviation scale has two outer indices and a center index. The center index represents the airplane's present position. The distance between the center index and the left or right outer index represents the current RNP distance. A magenta LNAV deviation pointer represents the position of the LNAV flight path programmed in the FMC. When the airplane is on the programmed LNAV flight path, the LNAV deviation pointer is centered under the center index as shown here. If the airplane moves off the LNAV course, the LNAV deviation pointer moves to indicate the relative position of the programmed LNAV course. If the pointer moves to the deflection limit, it becomes an unfilled pointer outline. The white horizontal bars represent the navigation system's current ANP relative to the RNP. The ANP bars originate from the outer index and expand inward as ANP increases. When ANP equals RNP, the ANP bars touch in the middle of the scale. Using the LNAV deviation scale, the flight crew can determine how far off course the airplane can fly before it may be outside of the RNP defined route. This may be especially helpful if the airplane must navigate off the LNAV flight path for any reason. Recall that ANP represents the navigation system's uncertainty about its present position calculation. It is a significant part of the navigation system's total error and generally can't be controlled by the flight crew. The other significant part of the navigation system's total error is controllable by the flight crew. This part is called the Flight Technical Error, or FTE. FTE measures how well the airplane tracks the lateral and vertical paths computed by the airplane's navigation system. On the LNAV deviation scale, the space between the ANP bars represents the allowable FTE. Subtracting RNP from ANP gives you the allowable FTE. Let's assume you are flying on a route requiring an RNP of 2.0 and your current ANP is 0.8. Your FTE would be the difference between RNP and ANP, or 1.2 nautical miles either side of the course.
As long as your airplane stays within the FTE distance from the navigation system's computed flight path, you will always meet the RNP criteria. If you deviate from the programmed flight path, the LNAV deviation pointer moves to indicate the deviation. If you continue to move further away from the flight path, the LNAV deviation pointer moves past the edge of the ANP bar. This indicates you have exceeded the FTE limit. If the pointer remains outside of the FTE for more than 10 continuous seconds, the ANP bars turn amber to alert the flight crew to the possibility that the airplane may be outside of the RNP-defined track. In this example, ANP has not exceeded RNP. The LNAV deviation pointer is still within the RNP outer index. Because the airplane has deviated too far from the programmed lateral flight path, there is a possibility the actual airplane present position is no longer within the RNP limit distance defining the route. The actual airplane present position could be anywhere within the ANP circle, and part of that circle is now outside of the RNP defined route. In this case, the airplane does not meet RNP constraints. As the airplane approaches its destination, anticipation cues or ghost pointers will display on the deviation scales when valid approach course deviation information is available from the selected ILS, GLS, or IAN approach and the airplane's current track is not greater than 90 degrees from the approach front course. The anticipation cues or ghost pointers display if the corresponding LNAV and VNAV deviation scales and pointers also display. The ghost pointers display as unfilled white diamond symbols, slightly smaller than the normal localizer glide slope pointers. They display at the same location that localizer and or glide slope pointers would normally display. Here, the scale ID enunciation is LNAV VNAV. This indicates the deviation scale pointers display LNAV and VNAV deviation information. If the engaged lateral mode subsequently transitions to LOC, LNAV deviation indications will be removed and normal ILS localizer indications will display. The lateral deviation information on the scale now comes from the localizer. The source of vertical deviation information remains VNAV. This is reflected by the scale ID enunciation LOC VNAV. When the engaged vertical mode subsequently transitions to glide slope, VNAV deviation indications are removed and normal ILS glide slope indications display. The ghost pointer is replaced with a glide slope indicator. Since both lateral and vertical deviation are now localizer and glide slope, the scale ID enunciation changes to ILS. Approaching the top of descent point, the airplane may need to fly a prescribed vertical flight path defined by RNP limits, just as it has been maintaining its programmed lateral flight path within RNP limits. The pilot has several sources of information available to monitor the calculated vertical path and ensure the airplane remains within vertical RNP constraints during the descent. As the airplane reaches the top of descent point, the ANP bars and VNAV deviation pointer display on the VNAV deviation scale. A magenta VNAV path deviation band appears on the lower right side of the navigation display adjacent to a fixed vertical deviation scale.
The VNAV deviation scale uses the same principles as the LNAV deviation scale, except the VNAV deviation scale shows RNP-ANP information in the vertical plane instead of the lateral plane. Outer indices represent the RNP boundary distance. From the center index, which represents the airplane's vertical position. The ANP bars originate from the outer indices and converge towards the center as the ANP value increases towards the RNP value. The magenta VNAV deviation pointer represents the FMC calculated vertical path position. The VNAV deviation scale operates like an ILS glide slope. As the airplane flies further above or below the programmed descent path, the deviation indicator moves accordingly on the scale to indicate the deviation. In this example, the airplane in a VNAV path descent has deviated above the FMC calculated descent path. If the airplane continues to move further above the FMC calculated descent path, the deviation pointer will move past the ANP bar boundary. If the pointer stays past the boundary for more than 10 continuous seconds, the ANP bar turns amber to alert the flight crew to a possible RNP boundary violation. When the pointer reaches the deflection limit, it becomes an unfilled symbol. The magenta VNAV path deviation band appears on the navigation display next to the vertical deviation scale. This band indicates acceptable deviation from the VNAV path during an FMC descent. The deviation band consists of a diamond-shaped pointer with equal length band extensions above and below it. The center index of the vertical deviation scale represents the airplane's vertical position. The pointer of the VNAV path deviation band represents the FMC calculated VNAV path position. The band extensions represent the vertical RNP above and below the path. The RNP and ANP digital annunciations to the left of the fixed vertical deviation scale represent the current vertical RNP and ANP of the airplane's navigation system. The RNP number also indicates the band extension length in feet above or below the VNAV pointer. The VNAV path deviation band moves against the fixed vertical deviation scale in response to changes in the airplane's vertical position relative to the defined VNAV descent path. If the airplane flies above the path, the pointer moves down against the deviation scale. As the airplane descends below the path, the pointer moves up against the deviation scale. And when the airplane is on the path, the pointer aligns with the center index on the deviation scale. The length of the band segments depends on the vertical RNP currently in effect. If vertical RNP decreases, so does the length of the vertical deviation band. The vertical deviation scale is fixed. The extensions from the center index represent plus or minus 400 feet. The VNAV path deviation band pointer can move up to 30 feet beyond the scale outer marks. Anytime the airplane is more than 30 feet away from the VNAV path, 
a digital readout of the vertical deviation displays immediately above the scale for deviations below the path. or immediately below the scale for airplane deviations greater than 30 feet above the path. When the airplane is on the path, the VNAV path deviation band pointer aligns with the center index of the vertical deviation scale on the navigation display. At the same time, the VNAV deviation pointer aligns with the center index of the VNAV deviation scale display on the primary flight display. With the new flight deck displays, the flight crew can see at a glance the current navigation performance of their airplane and can more easily determine if they can fly and navigate route structures and approaches defined by RNP requirements.